Good morning. How are you? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. A warm welcome for Maggie Haas, an inside baked restaurant in Manchester. But right away, the manager expressed concern about the young people fleeing the state. You know, what kind of resolution would you? Well, one of the things we know is that some of the reason we're losing the young people is because of the cost of higher education here. We hear that a lot. So we were able to freeze tuition in state at the university for two years and lower it at our community colleges. And we're also doing a lot of things to make the overall price of a bachelor's degree more affordable for young people. We also know that young people want things like uh, rail, they want public transportation, and they want to be able to live and work in the same areas. Another employee went top of the ticket with her question, and Hassan gladly defended Hillary Clinton's record when it comes to kids. And because of her early work, Kids like my son, I have a 28-year-old with very severe cerebral palsy, were included in their community schools, right? And that's the type of devotion she's shown to causes bigger than herself. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. Joseph is a Vietnam vet supporting Donald Trump, but on veterans' issues, he's willing to listen. My dad was a World War II veteran, and so making sure that the system works for our veterans is really important to me, and I think it's something I'd like there to be a full service hospital in New Hampshire, um, and I'd like to make sure that the Veterans Administration is working for everybody. Patrick is worried about student debt, a problem that Hassan says she would address in part by expanding Pell Grants. I also want students to be able to refinance their loans at a much lower rate. Uh, at the rate that people are being able to refinance for other things. Um, and for new student loans, I want the rate to be lower. Um, I don't think the federal government should profit from student loans, which right now it is. Just a few of the things on the minds of voters when we join Senate candidate Maggie Hassan on the road. Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.